can't. Not yet. Why not? You know why not. Someone will see. You are going to be my wife. I am going to be your husband. We're allowed to walk through the gardens together. How many other girls have you walked through these gardens? I like the way your eyes go squinty when you're jealous. They do not go squinty, and you didn't answer the question. They make a lovely couple. A Lannister and a Marktel. They have no idea how dangerous that is. Well, she's made herself at home. Marcella? Uncle Jamie? I don't understand. What are you doing here? Let's speak in private. I am Tristan Martel. Tristan is my intended. Excellent. Good to meet you. We weren't expecting you, Lord Jamie. Why don't you let them have some time alone, son? Let's not do something stupid. <laughs> that was something stupid. We have to go, Marcella. Now. You him. He'll be fine, I promise, but we have to... Oh, for fuck's sake. Prince Duran. Forgive us. We started without you. Please, sit. Princess Marcella. Uncle? What a lovely dress. You don't like it? You must be cold. Not at all. The Dornish climate agrees with me. Prince Tristain. How's your jaw? The flea bite. What are you doing in Dorne? Looking after the safety of my niece, the Princess Marcella. And rather than send a raven or speak to me directly, you decided to enter my country in secret and abduct our guest by force. We received a threatening message. The Princess's necklace in the jaws of a viper. That necklace was stolen from my room. <gasps> Excellent. The last meal before the beheading. Oh, I can't behead you. Many in Dorne want war. But I've seen war. I've seen the bodies piled on the battlefields. I've seen the orphans starving in the cities. I don't want to lead my people into that hell. No, you want to break bread with the Lannisters. And that is precisely what we are doing. Let us drink to Tommen, the first of his name, king of the Andals and the first men Lord of the Seven Kingdoms. King Tommen insists on his sister's return to the capital. I'm afraid he does. I cannot disobey my king's command. She will return with you to King's Landing. And my son, Prince Tristane, will accompany you both. If the alliance between the Iron Throne and Dawn is to continue, 
their engagement must stand. I accept. One more thing. My brother was named to the small council before his death. Your father understood the importance of keeping Dorne in the fold. With Oberyn gone, Tristan will take his place on the small council. You have my word. The word of a king's slayer. No wonder you can't stand. You have no spine. You are mother to four of my nieces, girls I love very much. For their sake, I hope you live a long and happy life. Speak to me that way again, and you won't. May I inquire as to the fate of my man, Bronn? Tell me, Sir Jamie, in King's Landing, how do they punish a commoner who strikes a prince? He said it was just a flea bite. The fault is mine. Bronn is merely a soldier following my orders. If anyone should be punished, it's me. Prince Tristane must learn judgment if he's to rule one day. I'll let him decide. I have learned the value of mercy from my father. I'll set your man free. You're a good man. On one condition. Prince Duran, Sir Bronn of the Blackwater. I didn't realize there were knights of the Blackwater. Only the one. I believe you've already met Prince Tristane. Prince, sorry about the other day. Prince Tristane here is a man of mercy. He's agreed to grant you your freedom. I'm glad to hear it. Pie looks good. There was one condition. Perhaps some soup instead. You looked different when I left. You had more hair. And more hands. I was just saying. You'll be all right? I'm sorry for that. It wasn't supposed to happen that way. Why is it happening at all? Your mother's worried about you. Threats have been made. Dawn's too dangerous for you. I've come to take you home. This is my home. This has been my home for years. I didn't want to come here, but she told me to. I did what she said. I did my duty, and now she's forcing me to go back? It's for your own good. These are complicated matters. No, it's not complicated at all. It's simple. I love Tristane. I'm going to marry him, and we're staying right here. I don't understand. Of course you don't. You don't know me. Wish you a safe journey home. Thank you. Forgive me, child. I wish you all the happiness in the world. Maybe I'll come visit you sometime. Maybe I'll come visit you. Don't wait too long. Got a noble woman to marry back home. You want a good girl, but you need a bad pussy. Whenever you're ready, my lord. at this time. I'll never take it off again. I know you didn't want to leave Dawn, but I'm glad you're coming home. Your mother's desperate to see you. And I'm glad Tristane's coming with us. He seems like a nice boy. You're lucky. Arranged marriages are rarely so... so well arranged. Do you think Mother will like him? If she sees you're happy, I'm sure she will. And <laughs> you really believe that? Have you ever known your mother to like anyone aside from her children? 
She likes you. I'm not so sure about that. Listen. There's something I wanted to tell you. Something I should have told you long ago. So. Now that you've seen more of the world, you've learned how complicated things can be. People can be. The Lannisters and the Martells have hated each other for years, but you've fallen in love with Tristane. It was an accident, really. I mean, what were the chances? You happened to fall in love with the man you were assigned to marry? <laughs> My point is, we don't choose whom we love. It just, well, it, it's beyond our control. I sound like an idiot. No, you don't. What I'm trying to say, what I'm trying and failing to say. You know what say. we're trying to say. No, I'm afraid you don't. I do. I know. About you and Mother. I think a part of me always knew. And I'm glad. I'm glad that you were my father. Marcella? 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 